from Bridgeville to Georgetown, over to Harbison, over to Lewis, not too bad. Uh, steady go as we head along into Worcester County, Route 50 and 92 in front of Ocean City, 589 good through Ocean Pines, 113 from Bishopville to Berlin to Snow Hill, a good go there. And then Wicomico County moving on uh, the drive on 50 from Willage to Pittsville. To Walson Switch Road and Hobbs Road, Business 50 and Business 13 in town, all right. Bypass around town, good. Route 50, good out to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for The Voice Radio Network. Richie Stevens. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017 in Ocean City, Maryland. How are you? Hi, good morning. Hey, top of the morning to you. I'm pretty good. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're doing great, man. Thanks so much for checking in. Uh, of course, you know, you've been on uh, some big hit TV shows, uh, NCIS, uh, Blue Bloods, one of my faves, uh, Days of Our Lives, MacGyver, Major Crimes, Criminal Minds. Wow. I mean, you, you've done it, man. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, I've been very lucky to be on some cool projects. and You, you might recognize me as the bad guy of the week. and That's, that's usually the, world, the, the type of roles I play. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, c- congratulations on your success, but also congratulations on changing you know your life around your lifestyle yeah I, I mean you know that today of course we're promoting your book uh the gangster's guide to sobriety uh my life in 12 steps kind of give us a rundown of you know what you've been through and you know where you got to where you are today you know big time actor like talk a little bit about uh you know what you went through before you became you know clean and and you know an actor thank you so much yeah i've been very lucky now because a lot of people who involved in the stuff I've been involved in or either in jail or dead. So I'm born and raised in Ireland. I got involved in drinking and drugs very young and um, ended up being in gangs and getting in trouble. And then I moved to America and it was more of the same stuff. And um, at one point I even moved to Australia. That didn't work either. I, a lot of times I thought maybe Ireland is the problem. So I go to America. Right. And I thought maybe America is the problem. So I go to Australia. And then Australia was the problem. So I came back to America again. And, um, you know, uh, in Ireland, I was involved in Irish gangs. And when I was in San Francisco, I was actually in an Asian gang. I was the only white fella in the gang. It was kind of a, a strange old setup. But I was a cocaine addict. And that's how I ended up doing that kind of stuff. And uh, in 2010, I... I, I uh, I I, became, I I started going to 12-step meetings because because of my, my addiction problems. And I ended up getting sober and turned my life around. You know, I, I, I stopped uh, stopped all the bad behavior. And um, Then I after I got sober, I, I wanted to be a, a contractor because I was a carpenter. So I, my plan was to set up my own construction business. And things were going well for a little while. And then I had an accident on the job. I broke my back. Wow. Uh, a beam fell down and hit me and knocked me off the scaffold and broke one of my discs and herniated the other one and they said you're, you're never going to be able to do this kind of work again so lost all my money lost all my livelihood and um, a girl that I knew told me I should try modeling and at that point I was 30 years old and uh, I had my nose broken a lot of times and bitten and uh, I had a fake tooth at the front of my mouth and uh, you know I I didn't think I was model material, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were like, you think that you were model material. You were like, hold up, my face, and, and I'm, I'm not being funny, but, but you were like, man, my face is jacked up, my teeth are jacked up. How am I a model? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't think she was hitting on me. I think she was just being kind. But right, I sent out some photos to some modeling agencies. No, hey, hey, you're a good looking guy. You are good looking. One. No, you're a good looking guy. You know. All- uh, thanks for saying that, but if you think I'm good looking now, you should have seen me before I got all those beats. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So, so, so um, yeah, they, I sent away my pictures to a modeling agency and they signed me up. And I did a little bit of modeling for, for a small amount of time. And then a, a, a director saw me on a, on a modeling website and he asked me to be in his film. It was a gangster film. So, so he, said, he said, don't take this the wrong way, but you have that look about you. And uh, I didn't tell him that I really used to be a gangster, so I didn't want to scare him or make a bad impression. Uh, right, so I right. Got my first role. Hey. Uh, and then after that, I really enjoyed it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try and do this. And I, I started going to acting classes. I went to a bunch of schools. And the roles got bigger. And I moved to Hollywood. And 
I've been doing it now for about nine years. Yeah, you were like, hey, look, no, how about you don't take this the wrong way, but you want me to show you how I can act and kidnap somebody? I've really kidnapped <laughs> people before, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to scare them. <laughs> right, right. No, I, is it, Um, I mean, not, not being funny or anything, but. Is it like you you act like you're, you're you're the bad guy on a lot of these shows, and you know you're playing a gangster or whatever? Like when you're doing it, are you saying to yourself in your head like this ain't this ain't nothing? <laughs> I mean, uh, you, I'm intrigued by it. Well, well, when I started acting first, you know, when you go to an acting school, it was a good one uh, for screen acting. The, the first thing they do is they tell you what kind of type you are. So your type might be nerd or fat guy or whatever your type is, but it's only my type is bad guy. You're you're going to be villain. Okay. So I said, okay, well, it could be, it could be worse. You know, in America, they kind of put you into a box with, with what type you are. Cause you'll notice the same people say, say the same type of thing all the time, you know. So, um, yeah, uh, it came naturally to me because I had been in all these life and death situations and um yeah, that's all they seem to pay me for. So yeah, so, uh, yeah. Well, that's, again, that's uh, you know, bad, you've you've done great with your career. You've been in NCIS, Blue Bloods, Days of Our Lives, MacGyver, Major Crimes, Criminal Minds, and you got that new book out, The Gangster's Guide to Sobriety, My Life in 12 Steps. That's awesome. Can't wait to check it out. If people want to follow you on social media, Richie Stevens, how can they do that? Thanks. Yeah, um, I'm on social media. Um, you can get me on Instagram mostly. It's Richie Actor, R I C H I E Actor. And if, if you're curious about any of my work, you can see it on IMDb. Uh, and the book is coming out on May 24th. It's going to be on Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, Simon and Schuster, Walmart, all these kind of places. And if you're not a big reader, if you want to listen to the book, I'm 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 doing the Audible as well, so you'll be able to hear me tell the story on Audible as well. Richie Stevens, thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you guys for having me. It's been a pleasure. Check out the all-new Old School Power Lunch Lounge, Monday through Friday, 12 to 1, only here on Power 101.7.